Have you ever seen a trailer overbalance? Now for anyone who tows a B-double particularly, you'll know the danger of splitting up your trailers, particularly unhooking an A-trailer, because effectively you've got 12 pallet spaces, sometimes 10, sometimes 14, normally 12, and six of those pallet spaces are sitting forward of the legs. You then have six spaces, and then you've got the wheels. There's no weight over the wheels. So etiquette when you can, particularly if you know you're loaded to weight, is to try and find another trailer to stick the turntable underneath so you've got some weight holding the trailer down. Otherwise, it's likely to nosedive. The other problem is when the trailer is being unloaded, even if it can be unhooked safely, if the forklift driver starts unloading from the rear rather than the front, same problem. He takes the weight off the rear, you've still got six pallet spaces sitting forward of the legs, and over she goes. Now this isn't confined to A trailers. A regular semi-trailer can do the same thing as these couple of photos here show. This one, you've got a tanker. He's got the front compartment loaded with fuel, forward of the legs, and nothing behind the legs in the way of weight. So he unhooks the B trailer to take the A trailer into a tight service station and bang o she's over and on her nose. Check this one out, tipper, same thing. If you've been hauling lime or gypsum or anything that'll stick in the body, make sure it's completely empty before you unhook because it'll get stuck up around the well and then unhook it and bang. It's quite disconcerting to see an entire semi-trailer sitting on its nose supported by its legs with the wheels up in the air. But here's the coolest story of them all. This one I videoed, I could not believe this happened. This truck was loaded at a warehouse in Sydney, A trailer only, and then the A trailer was brought out onto the pad so that the driver could hook up to it. The B trailer was gonna be brought out afterwards. It was only a bogey, so you've only got two axles on the ground, and it was a 10 pallet A trailer. So that's six pallets forward of the legs, four pallets behind and only two axles, not enough to hold it down. Now the tug driver didn't think about this, so he's picked the thing up. The trailer has a third leg support to stop this happening. He's hooked up the trailer, folded up the leg, put the safety chain on, brought it out to the marshalling yard and dropped the trailer. Now it is absolutely amazing that this thing did not fall straight on its nose. When I saw it, it was balancing on its legs all eight tyres off the ground, literally the entire loaded A trailer balancing on those legs. Yeah. Now that is a sight to see. So when you're unhooking a trailer, always be mindful of where the weight is because you'd be surprised just how easy it is to put one on its nose.